I saw my way through school and made it through year 13, but university wasn't right for me, so I actually did a trade and really enjoyed it. And through that, I also then went on to do a diploma, and I really enjoyed that. So I saw this opportunity to go, I'll do an engineering degree. I really enjoyed doing a degree, so I thought I'll do a PhD. And I started at ENS Tech as a junior designer, and I ran design for a bit. And over the years, I've worked in ops and quality, ran sales and marketing. Then eight years ago, I took over running the business. My motto is always, stay in school. First thing I'd say to anybody is make sure you don't work a day in your life. Find something that you're really, really passionate about, then it's not work anymore. Pretty unusual career path, to be fair. I was always very good with my hands and I knew I wanted to work in the space industry. You know, at school, a careers advisor called in my parents for a meeting and a discussion because they thought my aspirations were completely unreasonable. I needed to be able to build rocket engines, so I decided that I'd go into a trade first and did a tool and dime making trade at Fisher & Paykel. As a kid, I didn't know what I wanted to be, but none of my family were university educated in any way. But one thing I knew, I loved working with my dad on fixing cars, tools and hands-on type stuff. In school, I was very good at maths, physics, and really good at technical drawing. It kind of pointed me off in that direction. So my original training was electrical and electronic engineering, and then I switched to a mechanical apprenticeship. I didn't go to university and get a degree and then go into business. I went straight into work and learn. That's a good thing, I think. The best opportunities that I've had in my life, I took the path that excited me. I grew up working on things with my hands, got some right answers on my math tests, so I ended up at, at university in an engineering program. I was a fairly disruptive person in school. I was just a general troublemaker. However, when it came to anything science related, I just my passion for science just made me absorb. I did law and commerce, practiced for about three years, realised I was definitely on the wrong side of the table. All these great uh, people were coming in, setting up companies, doing great things. Moving into manufacturing was my true passion. To be fair, the fact that it doesn't feel like work, because I love it. My first business I started when I was six years old. It was a pine cone business, and it was really cool that my family and the people around me fostered that. I trained to be a teacher. I have a lot of respect for teachers. It teaches you to shoot from the hip, and it's also a sales role, I think, teaching. I never really enjoyed working uh, before I started in manufacturing. Love talking to, it, to all my friends and family. They're all really interested, and it's something you can be really proud to be a part of. Manufacturing facilities, people think like old, dingy, dusty. Most shops that you go to now, you could probably eat off the shop floor. It's, you know, half million dollar equipment that's all over the place, kept very clean, very orderly. And it's actually a fun place to show up. These are the most high tech, high paying, difficult, challenging jobs that you can have. And if you go down to the production floor at, at Rocket Lab, these are artists. These are the most skilled people that you can imagine, uh, all in high paying jobs, uh, doing the most incredible things. Manufacturing trust brings science, technology and creativity all into one. If you're looking for a career, lean into it. It's been an incredible journey for us. Manufacturing is a great place to build a wide variety of skill sets. I've worked in a variety of industries. The one industry where I learn the most is manufacturing. And the ability to do that, but also get paid for it, is absolutely amazing. Whatever your interests are, whatever your background is, there'll be something that you can get involved in. There's huge possibilities in manufacturing, whether it's as an apprentice or all the way through production management, you can have a lifelong career in manufacturing, which is fantastic. When you look at manufacturing, it's an exciting inflection point for this industry. You're seeing a huge uptick in technology and you're seeing a shortage of qualified individuals. So if you're someone who's early in your career, that's exactly where you want to be placed, where you're very in need, your skills are very in demand, you're learning high tech and cutting edge skills, and that will guarantee a future for you in that industry for many years to come. There's a tremendous amount of opportunity to do some really, really cool stuff in manufacturing. 
if you're passionate and you're good, you can move up the corporate ladder incredibly quickly and into some pretty impressive leadership positions. Lawyers, bankers, accountants. It's actually the white collar workers that are going to be disrupted most in this next season. A really good option is practical work and high tech manufacturing, design, mechatronics. These type of uh, career choices are, are going to be wonderful for New Zealand students. It's time to make your mark. Come and join the future makers. Join the future makers. Join the future makers. Join the future makers.